Greetings world, I am November 27, and this here is the Mother Country video log. Uh, Mother Country is a uh, a featuring film, uh, written directed by Maria Bro. She's coming out of San Francisco. In select cities she chose to shoot this movie in was Los Angeles, Albuquerque, uh, El Paso, uh, along with uh, San Marcos and Austin, Texas. And we're here uh, off of St. John's in the historic neighborhood. And I have here with me Miss Leo Lee Canada. Yes, so sir. Why don't you I give am. a brief introduction to yourself, Miss Leo? Okay. Uh, I was, uh, I'm a Texan. I was born in Galveston, Texas. I've been here in Austin, Texas for about 30 years. And um, I've got uh, experience in acting. And um, I had a, t a t TV show here for five years. I was a talk show host. And I did nursing all my life. And now I work at a... Um, workforce center as a computer monitor. I also do judgeships when it comes down to elections here in Travis County. I do a lot of things. I'm the mother of seven children. I have um, four grandchildren and one great-grandchild, five girls and two boys. And um, as far as I know, I'm going to probably live in Austin, Texas the rest of my life. Wow. Yeah. And I'm a good friend of, of no, 27. No, 27. She know me by James. James. She know me by James, That's but right. it's all the same thing. That's right. He's been a friend to me for so, several years now, and he's worked uh, by my side. And, you know, he's very trustworthy, and we always click, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, like, start us off, uh, I'd like to ask you, uh, what are some of the things you like about Austin? Austin is a very, as far as I, I've lived here 30 years, and I've lived in probably about three or four places. Austin is, um, it's not a really small city. It's not a really large city. It's kind of like medium size. It's growing rapidly. We get a lot of people coming from all over states uh, moving here to Austin because of the economy right now. It's drawing people to Texas for some reason. This is a state where you can become more employed rather than other parts of the country. But I like Austin because um, it's clean here. You know, they, it's you know we don't really have a bunch of ghettos, but we have low income areas where people, you know, it looks like people have low income, and and uh, I like it because it's not too big. You know, because I lived in Houston, Texas for a while, and Houston is just too big for me. I don't like cities that big. But um, the crime right here in Te in Austin, Texas, is um. It's not real low, but it's not nearly as high as Houston. So I feel pretty safe, you know. Um, other than that, you know, the, they keep they try to keep Austin really clean for some reason. They, they don't have real raggedy properties here in Austin. And I like it. I raised five of my children here in Austin. Actually, five of them was born here in Austin. The other two was born in Galveston before I left Galveston. But other than that, I mean, the school districts for uh, education for children it was really good. Uh, my children went to um, Matthews Elementary School. They went to O'Henry. They went to Lanier. Some of them went to Austin High. All of them have finished from the Austin uh, Independent School District. Um, they went on, two of them went on to college uh, in Texas. One went to Texas State, and the other one went to uh, the University of um, San Antonio. And she finished and she got her degree. And then my other daughter, one that went to Texas State, she got a business degree. And then I have another daughter now is getting ready to start college, ACC, and I'm not sure where she wants to take up. She just took the test for the Army, but she failed the test by two points. But she really did want to go into the service. She's only 18. Then I have an oldest son who is 35 years old, and he's doing pretty well. He lives in Kyle, Texas, though. And by the way, he was over here last night. <laughs> but I like Austin. Um... I don't have too many gripes. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of jobs here in Austin myself. I finished from Austin Business College myself. I went to um, nursing school here in Austin, and I finished from the um, it was Southern Careers at that time, nursing school, and I finished from that, and I've had nice jobs here. You know, even though the economy is bad, you can still find work in Austin mm -hmm. if you have skills, you yeah. know. But, hey, I like it. Family oriented. Uh, it got a big city, small town feel to it. Uh, just nice place to come and relax. So, you know, knowing that, uh, I'd like to ask you also, uh, what are some of the things that concern you about Austin? Well, and I don't, want, I don't like to talk about really bad stuff, but 
The Austin Police Department, uh, for many years now, we've had trouble in the black community with the Austin Police. Some people think that the, they, they have a, a shadow of racism when it comes down to, um, when it comes down to hold, upholding the law. It seems like a double standard for African Americans here. Um, Austin is not very friendly when it comes down to, um, I would say, entertainment. Uh, they they kind of like as far as black people or the black community. They don't like they just had South by Southwest, and there there wasn't many. It was like they're kind of insensitive to entertaining uh, the black community with our songs and, you know, for black people and black groups and stuff like that. It's mostly mostly uh, Caucasian uh, oriented. Um, the quality of life here for African Americans should be rising up, but it's not. It's at a standstill for some reason. Uh, we've had trouble with the Austin Police Department uh, for several years now. Several of my friends, you know, they just they disagree with a whole lot of things that's been going on. There's been some shootings where African Americans have been killed by the police and you know that's I mean it's sad to say that the Austin Police Department is not very friendly toward the black community but uh, other than that I mean you can live with it you know as long as you stay out of trouble and stay out of the way of people that are you know in participating in criminal activity. Uh, other than that that's all I can say about Austin. Parents teach your kids about the rights uh, so they can stay away from the criminal justice system. It's like one of the things that rips away communities is the, the, the way things are handled. You know, if we just try to remember that, you know, every day tell your kids, you know, be more smart about their decisions. So another question I'd like to ask you is, uh, do you see yourself living in any other city besides Austin? If so, then what? Um... Yes, I do see myself living in a, a different city. Maybe something smaller, um, maybe like Taylor, Texas, or um, Darndale, Texas, something like that, or you know, something a little bit more laid back. This is becoming like a metropolitan city because it's growing so rapidly. And we get all of these different people, especially from up north, coming to, to live in Austin, and it's growing. A crime is getting, you know, a little bit much here in Austin. I mean, all the time you see on the news, I don't even watch the news so much because there's so much bad news, you know. I stopped watching it uh, as much as I used to. But I think it's because of the growth. You know, with growth comes crime because you're getting all kind of people. But I do see myself maybe living in a city a little bit smaller, you know, instead of the, the big city atmosphere, you know, the 24-7 thing, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's cool if you like it. But then, after a while, it gets to be a little monotonous. You know, you're always up. Something's always going on. It's just, you know, never stop it. You know, so, I don't know. I, I have adapted to it because I do live here. But I noticed that the growth, is, the, the growth is very rapid now. You know, it's just growing. And the traffic situation on I-35 is just terrible. I mean, they claim that they're going to do something about it. We need another form of transportation because I-35 is always backed up, seven days now, and even at night. When I, I, I moved here 30 years ago, I-35 was not that busy. It wasn't, you know, you could drive, you know, at certain uh, times, you hardly see any, anybody. Now, you get on I-35, it's bumper to bumper. You know, and the gas prices are just skyrocketing. It's almost like $4 a gallon now. Well, $3 a gallon now, but um, other than that, you know, I've been able to cope and just moved, but like you said, uh, you asked me, you know, did I see myself um, living somewhere else? I think I will, you know, because I'm reaching retirement age, my own self, and I want a little bit sm slower pace, so. I hear that. And uh, one more question I'd like to ask you, uh, do you see yourself, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, is there anything about your life you could change? If so, then what? 